Well, hell fired. It's Rock to Rift, and I'm back with another battle head enemy. Back with some more uh, love bites, and we're continuing on with Heavy Metal is the Law. I'm pretty sure the last one I did was Pledge to the Savior. I have to look real quick. I might need to separate these into their own playlist. Yep, Pledge of the Savior was the last one I did, and so the next on his list was Warning Shot, and uh, I already like the big bold lettering here, and uh, <clears throat> let's dive on in. Hell yeah. Come in like a freight train. Is the lettering going to stay up the whole time? Okay. For one, that kind of sucks. I'd hate for anybody to know that this is Love Bites. <laughs> I mean, is it meant to stay on there to deter people from doing a reaction to it? But taking away uh, the annoying logo staying there, uh, I like what we're going with with this track so far. The music is heavy. It's, it's fucking running. Asami's vocal kind of reminds me of like a southern rock gospel thing. I just I think it's just the it's not like that's what she sounds like. It's just this little I don't know, it's the vibe she's putting off right now. Hell yeah, here we go. Okay, so Midori and Miyako switched up sides on stage. Plus, I'm so used to seeing Midori with blonde hair. She looks good, great with dark hair too. Though.
I am really digging what Sami's doing vocal wise in this track. I would have stopped and commented on more, but I think this big logo in the center is just aggravating the fuck out of me. Oh me. But I am digging warning shot. Like I am getting from the name alone, I was like, are we gonna get like kind of like an A C D C kind of vibe? But it's just I don't know why. It just it gives me Southern Rock vibe. Maybe not musically, but Asami. Asami is making this make make me think of Southern Rock so much. Just because of that that, that gospel style flair that's going on. I don't understand what you're saying. Okay. He is speaking Japanese. Okay. So besides the logo, uh, I enjoyed this. I really like the track. It had some cool riffs. I love the way uh, Haruna's drum sounded in this compared to later shows. Like, I felt every bass in that kick. And once again, she just, from the beginning of the track to the end of the track, she is rolling. Midori and Miyako, of course, always are badasses. I'll get out. And then seeing her dark headed is it's pretty cool. I think out of everything I've seen, this is the uh, youngest they are, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the Wolfpack would have to let me know if anything I've checked out before is a uh, older show than Battle in the East Live in 2018. But Warning Shot's definitely a good track. It's definitely Four Horns. Uh, I think I gotta give MVP to Asami on this one just because I really digged this vocal style and I might be completely off the mark saying like a a gospel southern vibe is but it's just where I grew up from or where I've grew up from and heard it a lot that's what it reminds me of because I've I've heard a million singers that have this kind of flair and it's always been people that are in the church mostly and then some southern, like some southern rock band, local southern rock bands and stuff like that. I hear that whole, I can't even imitate it. But <clears throat> that was good. Uh, heavy metals of law. Thank you for providing the list. I think I've got one more to go through on what I've got at the moment. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, I like Warner. I like Warner Shot. That was a damn good song. And. Uh, until I see some more love bites, y'all stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch you in the next one.